What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead of War Let's Play as Grand Columbia. And in this episode, we're hoping to capture HMS Victory and the bulk of the remaining British fleet here off the coast of North Africa. So let's get to it. Um, I am expecting to probably lose a few ships, but I think it will be worth doing. And it is a stepping stone towards the... Uh, towards the future domination of the Mediterranean by our forces because we want to um, get into a position where we can blockade Austria around her entire coastline and right now she is still trading over via the Mediterranean we want to try and stop that from happening okay let's make sure my heavy first rates are up front Oh no, I've got loads of... Okay, right, heavy. And then first, first. First, first, first. Second, second, third. Second, third. We have reinforcements. But I am hoping, for the most part, we do not need them. There's victory up front. I'm sure ship aficionados can pick off the differences. However, it's actually quite difficult for me. Well, you learned, and I've actually been to see her. Um, but let's speed up time. Got lots of smaller ships batting around, but it's lots of these big beasts that we're looking to knock out of action. My reinforcements are coming in from quite a good direction, actually. I might just leave them on the course they're on. Let's try and do this. Try and cut them off. A few of their ships are a bit damaged, so Lancaster's hurt. Leviathan is not looking so great. Some of the heavier first-rate ships of the line seem in reasonable condition. Yes, victory is the one I want. I want victory most of all. And you can see how she's maneuvering to uh, stay ahead of our fleet, which is fine. She has the weather gauge, but if we can cut her off from the remainder of the fleet, that'll be quite handy. So the, yeah, these ships coming in from behind the fleet... Let's give you guys a slightly different course from these second rates. Especially if you've got the Acheron. Okay, we might. So, if Victory manages to cut us off, we will be able to get... We'll be able to separate her on the right-hand side of our fleet, which is pretty good. But for the most part, I do just want to sail... As much of my fleet past the head of theirs as I can. Well, I expect what's going to happen is they are going to attempt to bash into us. So again, this is where my lots of my shtick from managing the fleet this way I don't really like. Side right. Keep the rest of my fleet pushing on ahead. Christian, I might, I might try a chain just to see if I can knock a mast out. There we go. Main mast is gone. Get all of these ships just keep sailing on as fast as they possibly can. I want them to try and get some of their ships ahead of these fifth rates that are going to come in and pack at the front of my position. Just give all of these ships orders to maybe go here broadly. Or they maybe make my firsts go here, seconds go here. You're on fire. Hold fire. Captain. 
Hamilton, a heavy first rate is engaging victory. Let's dispatch some of these rearward ships to break off. You're quite badly on fire. Or it will on briefly. Engage Adams. No longer on fire. Excellent. So now they're starting to pivot towards other ships in the line. So actually, we can start to kind of cre create a bit of a bottleneck for their ships. Again, seeking to dismast Adam as much as is possible. Excellent. Just keep... Okay, so you guys just go get bumper to bumper. The main mast of Adams is gone. Pound them with round shots. You're engaging victory. Now angle against the head of the fleet coming in. You effectively hunker down here. Let's take Europa, break Europa off and try and get ahead of victory. Can't let victory steal all of my, <laughs> all of my focus. You get ready to fly a chain into Lancaster. You angle to engage Discovery. The last mast of Adam is gone. Just keep engaging. Victory's lost nearly all of her masts. And kind of needs to keep pounding round shot into Adams. Let's fire, try and get some fire before Somerset gets in the way. ships pushing up. See if you can knock out Lancaster's masts. Excellent. Switch. You stick with round shot. Come on Europa. All of these ships just keep pushing forward. One Europa. Smash victory in the stern. God damn, ceasefire. Blew up an enemy ship at point blank range. Sail into the fleet. You hold still. Fire at will into the into the carnage. Well, I might yeah. engage Adams. Sailing. 
I think Europa's going to get victory well enough. Let's just keep, let's keep clearing some of these masts out. There's a third rate heavy privateer on the way. Big ol' fire. And's probably gonna get taken out by the fifth rate. Just pound them, pound the head of the column. Victory's causing problems. See if you can clip the fire thin's wings a little bit. Keep firing chains, now you're firing into Adder, the head of our head of their column. Okay, I think I'm probably best served in trying to get these lead ships to break off. You can pump a broadside into Adder, that'd be super. There you go, get you to run. I need to keep pushing these ships through the through the tasking area, because right now. Getting a bit backed up. Bunch a bunch of shots into Leviathan. Bit of friendly fire there, but I think it's kind of necessary. me to knock a Lancaster out of this and, and victory to be honest I think they're doing just too much damage either way I think we just killed the Admiral off of victory excellent they surrendered Lancaster is routing get out of there or else you're going to get pounded. This is getting a bit dicey. You're going to try and hit Adder. Back up set of ships coming in. You've surrendered, which is fair enough, really. Round shot. Ah, you broke as well. Okay, let's keep. Uh, keep the round shot. You're not long for this world either. Polyphemus. Yeah, let's try and get behind their line. You guys are all making your way here slowly. Yeah, 
big fire. Let's try pin you in towards Captain. Explosion. Another ship's on fire somewhere. Just get in front of that ship there. Santa Teresa, yeah, you were uh, awkwardly positioned. Pound the bejesus out of that ship. You sail on at full speed, get your broadside ready. Probably drop anchor. Keep firing it well with round shot. There we go, you've broken up. Although, chain shot's pretty tempting because they're all a bunch of masts all sat together. Stay where you are. Nope, stay where you are. Bad luck. Reload. Good position though. They are very stuck. There's Audacious. Let's get this ship to loop their way around. You just get into position here, firing round shot into the head of their position. You should be able to engage. The last master of Orion is down. So Thunder is going to be the one we're going to rely on to do a lot of damage here. First can engage Adder from the front. There we go. Adrian, engage Orion. Stern. Excellent damage. Actually, your last master's gone, so we're going to swing Northumberland around. Goliath has booked it, then realised actually we need to help. One of our ships is burning, so you're going to try and get away from it. We're going to rely on Adrian. Ariadne. To engage Caesar. Explosion. Caesar's on fire. Excellent, but it looks like, for the most part, these ships have kind of got away with their damage. So line you guys up against Adams. Okay, you need to turn the other way because Audacious is in the way. You go get Goliath. Thunder to clear her barrels, <laughs> do a lot of damage to Monarch. 
you also go after Goliath. Heavy Burst has not very many guns left, but you stay where you are and just keep hammering at her. Luke's getting some good hits. Make sure we get some damage onto Adams. See our, sec our reinforcement fleet. There, they are some ways away. Let's make you guys actually sail straight on like this, because you'll be in a position to engage Adder as well. So many ships just drop anchor and engage Adder when they come into position. Adams is unhappy about being fired upon. Not a huge amount they can do about it, though. Oh, they're both upset. Adams has surrendered. Ada is still resisting. They've all surrendered. My entire fleet. Go get that fifth rate. So they should, in theory, run away and withdraw, but I don't think they will. I think they are going to stand and fight. But for most of these ships, let's make sure you are full sail. At least for the ones at the front. And let's take manual command of Thunderer. Thunderer will get orders to board Goliath. You have 296 crew, they have 57. Even if, even if we somehow manage to lose, we will pen Goliath in sufficiently that it means a lot of our other ships will be in position ready to engage. So you're stood there, your fleet is shattered, we've captured enough ships to offset our own losses, including the victory. I mean, you're going to have chain shot loaded because you can keep packing holes into Goliath's mast. Or you know, keep poking holes in her sails to slow her down. I think we're going to end up needing to do like this, like really spread ships out. Fifth rates are sufficiently fast. Thunderer is. Your guns are. One of your guns is. Is it one of your guns are in action, so you should slowly chip away at chip away at the <laughs> at the fifth rate. Now it's very much kind of like catch the pigeon. We need to pen them into a part of the ocean. we will never catch her. I think you I mean, ultimately, we could... Could keep, start engaging you via round shot? We probably... Oh, one of my... Heavy <laughs> first gave up the ghost in the chase. Oh, 
But we do want to try and... Well, we, do, we don't want to make them row. We want them to stick around, but be dismasted. So let's keep... This route doesn't look terrible. We want to dismast the fifth so that we can catch up to it and capture it rather than... I mean, if it runs, it shouldn't go anywhere because we have the we have the port blockaded. But it would be better if we dismastered her. Excellent. She's coming right into our trap. She is routing, but she is routing towards one of our vessels with not many guns. But fortunately, her right broadside is. The one in good condition. There she blows. Bad luck about Northumberland. Well, they've shown you had eight guns remaining. There we go. There goes one of her masts. By the time we're reloaded, we might be able to take out another one. There we go. The fleet is ours. Including all these lovely ships. How many did we actually lose? Two. Uh, four. <laughs> including my Admiral, it looks like. Keep victory. Get rid of the fifth. Keep the fifth. Keep you. Keep you. Keep you. Keep you. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. I mean, we still came out massively ahead. Adonde, Capitan? My admiral died. Well, the new admiral can be made up in the victory. Edgar Bull, Britisher, fighting for us now. Let's send you to. Okay, I, need to okay, I think and you need to. You can carry on doing that. Uh, you can do the same, but we need to start rotating out vessels that need repairs. And here at Tangier... Eh, two. Two are enough. Nice. This fleet can put into Porto for repairs, although they don't really need to repair. Stick them in there anyway. Yeah, they do. Well, they do. There are some repairs. The new guys put into Sandy Bay, where a fleet is already being prepared. Continue your repairs. Trade rate raided. Lots of good stuff is happening. How is the Moroccan public order crisis? Still minus four. And then this fellow continued to march towards Algiers. Excellent. Then we might look invading Copenhagen. That will allow us to really bottle up the Austrians, especially as we've got Hanover in the way. Let's trade Hanover. Trade and I'll offer you power loom, eh? You want eight grand plus you know what? Eight grand's nothing. We will do it to maintain friendly relations with an army on the border. We want Mr. Serrano to do that job, so you will replenish. Mr. Lozano is ready. We're standing by. These two heavier ships can go to Sandy Bay to bolster that fleet's recruitment. This fleet will go up to blockade the Baltic. Actually, they may raid into the Baltic. Well, they can't make it. 
Nobody's making any money on this trade route at all. Not a single, not a solitary ray out. Murdoch Haven did a fantastic job, however, he fell. Let's recruit some militia just to occupy some of these um, ports around us. Apart from that, though, everything is okay. You are going to declare war. Let's try not to call our allies in. Venice is at war with us, that's fine. Because we do want to start to secure this last territory. Because it is only Venice, and we're already at war with Austria, and Venice and Austria are quite close. Excellent. Right, let's hit enter and see what happens. Yeah, Mexico forever needs to be watched. Interesting. Mexico, help us attack Spain. I mean, that was inevitable. They even sat there for ages doing nothing. Go mad, Spain. All that means is that you, we will finally be in a position to capture Madrid. We have March on Madrid, secure a front line with Austria, and just fortify that front line like mad. That's what we're going to be doing. Plane stations are running back. If we do attack them, we will very much be laying siege to them. We will let them attack us, but they are not my priority. For the time being, that is very much the war in Europe. Sweden is reinvading somebody. Hmm. Sticking together, eh, friends? War Galleon and a bunch of chaff. Spain with two seconds and a heavy War Galleon. To be honest, I don't think I've actually got one of my... Are you a killer fleet? You are a killer fleet. So we've got you down here. I mean, you one as well. Yes, you are. Ultimately, there is... Well, hold on a minute. Spain is only held together by Madrid, so attacking their ships is not worth doing. It's quite a decent little force there. Let's blockade Cadiz so we can cross over. Portugal, can you guys leave Portugal? Because I have a devilish plot. Oh, we can't make it. Their their army is. They are protected. I was hoping we would be able to run into that port. Yep, yeah, sadly. Both of their main ports are protected. So effectively, just put the army ashore. Sadly. March towards Spain in two turns. What? No, not you. That's what the, I had the boat selected for. Let's blockade both of these ports. Let's get our construction on the go. Excellent. We've done you. Oxford. Morocco. I mean, let's just. Demetrius Thorn. We can deal with a disruption for a turn. You men push back to Tangier. 
Most some of them are going to break off to these, you know, their respective ports. Upgrade Marrakesh. You can't get there in a turn either. You're just going to be here to make sure this this full force doesn't get up to any trouble. Hello, Timothy Beardsley. Excellent British name. But what do we want to do? So attacking Spain itself is fine. Because we'll fortify these this border with Austria. Well, Ultima might just hold this bridge and this valley and just see if they feed me troops. Hello. Okay, you come over here to protect these trade ships. Yeah, everything's good. This force, on their way back for repairs, is going to go after this Austrian force. It's only a heavy first rate that we want to take from it. Every Austrian ship we destroy now it's another ship, it's another fleet that won't be able to scamper around the Seven Seas interfering with our trade. Heavy first, heavy first. First, first, first. Second, second, second. Let's get set up. Yeah, because we own the Straits of Gibraltar and we own the, we own the, uh, we own the, well, we, we are currently blocking off the passage into the Baltics. Every small Austrian fleet that we destroy, they will not be able to attack our trade regions, our trade nodes. Okay, let's get rid of the fleet idea again. Everybody, make all speed. The slower ships will bump into the backs of the faster ones, and that's fine. This is broadly what we want to do anyway, although I'll probably give them a more aggressive move order. As long as you're at full sail, or well, the, the very first ships at full sail, that's fine. Then we'll sink these three, scuttle these three, bring in Ochre. Do something like that. I mean, Ochre's in good shape, but we got oodles of ships, and we can deal with taking the damage as well. All of you guys sail as full sail. As much as it's practical, just to get us into the right patch of sea. Yeah, they're aware that bad things are gonna happen. They're turning away, but I expect they will they all cut ahead of us, and that's okay. The AI I mean did you just oh, you did a fire ahead of your ships. We are willing to take losses. Colombian losses are more easily repairable than your own. So I'm just speeding it up right now until we get into the thick of it. I mean, that Monarca is in trouble. Yeah, you're on fire. Sail straight for him. Like I said, we are not that bothered about losses. The loss of this force for the Austrians is a lot more meaningful than any losses of our own ships. It's heavy first as are going to attempt to firebomb. No, oh, it didn't work. Very well. 
down. If you want to make a proper showing of it, let's make a proper showing of it. <laughs> so again, you can see how a lot of it comes down to the speed of the ship. The speed of uh, these, these uh, heavy. I mean, to be honest, lots. Uh, it looks like the head of my column just hasn't really been going at full sail. Certainly doesn't help. When you're heavy first. You're always going to be chasing. You're going to have to slow down a lot. It's going to have to be a round shot for you. Although they are doing quite a good job at keeping distance from us. But I think they are going to run out of sea to do that. Let's try to turn this heavy first rate away. Back that away. They're on fire. There we go. AI was always going to turn into us eventually. Don't worry, as long as you haven't sank, you're fine. Buy a broadside of J. Excellent. Ready to do the same. Keep sailing on ahead. You scoot past. Then another volley may knock out another mast. You've only got 18 guns on your starboard side, which is not great. Let's try to do let's try to do chain. Yeah, a couple of hits. Nothing decisive. You drop anchor. Some of these smaller ships scoot in. Inga's doing good stuff. Like I said, we can do. We can take the damage. They cannot. Eh, fire round shot. I'm just going to smash it into Inga anyway. Anchor and fire at will. Yeah, Inga lost their mast. Magnanimo wants this heavy frigate. You'll be engaged. Pretty decisive, although you got a lot of holes. The green is going down. Good hits on Oka. Keep pushing against the heavy frigate. Let's 
take a second rate, try to do something like that. But ultimately, I don't think it's going to matter a huge amount. You're going to keep firing chain. Eh, to be honest, you're, it's sufficiently weak. It doesn't really matter. Concerned because you're dismastered. I really do want to make sure you are actually dismastered properly. You can still maneuver when you want to, like that. Okay, first rate. Let's get some shots off against the heavy trigger. Main mast is gone. Oh, they fell right down into the lover's hole. Gold. You guys are all just stupid. So you're firing chain just to try and get shot up over Inga. So you'll be able to actually Engage Oka without all the shots just slamming straight into them. That was kind of the intention. What are you, round shot, beam on? Shot the tippy top off. sell you on just a little bit keep firing round shot mostly because I know what we need go on San Bernardo okay there we go you hold there Chain shot from head on, try knock out another mast. Eh, you keep engaging with round shot as planned. So they're engaging forward into grief. Grief, grief. They're gonna get hit by San Cosimo. Take a lot of damage. Come on, you're definitely within range. Fire round shot then. You barrel straight in. <laughs> the brig lost the mast. There we go. You've surrendered. Two ships sail forward like so. Because you are within range of Oka from there. Pummeling the crap out of Oka. And they don't seem to want to give up. At least not without a fight. Magnanimo is engaging from range. But yeah, we're just pumping shots into Oka. Oka is not having it. And now they're wavering. Surrendered. Cool. Yeah, I only sped it up because it's is kind of moot after a certain amount of damage. I 
to send you guys. Actually, you can actually you can do a good good amount of damage just pummeling the ship. They won't be able to stick too much of that. It's remarkable that they are actually sticking around. Considering there we go, considering so many of the rest of the fleet was captured. So the heavy first we want to keep, not the brig or the frigate. Todo listo y en orden, Capitan. So these ships return to the Americas. This ship return to Europe. ¿Qué ordena? Uh, then let's recruit a detachment of line to garrison Lisbon. Yeah, I think everything's grand. You are probably right to smash straight into Timothy Beardsley. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Grand Columbia. Cheers everyone.